my channel. My name is Laura and today uh, I usually do top five Wednesday. Um, so I am pre-recording this and I have five books that I picked up from the library today. So uh, yeah, so these are five books that I have no idea. I just put them on my um, my want list and they called me and I went and I was like I was picking up two books and they said oh more came in for you so I have three three more so I have five total so I'm gonna share with you what I picked up and I'm gonna read a little bit of the synopsis of each one because I don't have no idea what they're about so here we go so five books there are no particular order I'm just gonna pick them up and share with you what I have out from the library I have three weeks to read these I probably will only read three out of five we'll see we'll see if I get to any of them so uh, yeah so here we go. The first book that I have out from the library is called The Call by Pedar O'Gullin. I do not know if I said the author's name right, so I am sorry about that. But this book is the book of the month for Explosion, the book Explosion of the Month, whatever. Um, they're reading it for the month of September, so I did get it uh, very late, so I have no idea if I'm going to be able to read this one by September 30th, and today's the 27th. There's no way unless I start reading it right now. So this one, it says, Three Minutes to Save Your Life. I have no idea what the, this book is about. That's what it says on the bottom. And then on the back, it says, the, A horn solens, a, the call has begun. So, very spooky. I have no idea what this is about. So, yeah. So, in, on, the, on the side, it says, Fantasy Horror. So, I think it's a great read for probably October. Uh, I have no idea. Let's see if what if I can read the inside. It says, and I can't see because I'm going to have to wear my glasses. Yeah, I can't read. <laughs> okay. Three minutes. You wake up alone in a horrible land. A horn sounds. The call has begun. Two minutes. The scythe are close. They're the most beautiful and terrible people you've ever seen and you've seen and they've seen you. One minute. Nessa will be called soon. No one thinks she has any chance to survive, but she is determined to prove them wrong. Time's up. Could you survive the call? I have no idea what this book is about. I just read exactly what this says here. Uh, so I am going to enter this book blindly if I, if I read it. So yeah. Nothing else. There's no other synopsis. So... I'm taking my glasses off. There's no other synopsis, so this, uh, we'll see if I even like it. I will maybe read the first chapter and, uh, see if I will continue on. Okay, the next book is another creepy book that I wanted to read for the month of October. I do not own these books, so that's why I have them out from the library. Uh, the next book is Daughters Unto Devils, uh, by Amy Lukovic. Uh, I have no idea if I said the author's name right or not, but here we go. So this looks like a creepy book. Uh, and the top it says, uh, imagine Stephen King writing Little House in the Prairie. So that seems pretty interesting. And I'm going to read a little bit of the back. Okay. There comes a sound from somewhere in the pitch dark behind me, lacing itself into the air along with the propping embers of the fire at first i think i'm imagining it but as my heart continues to pound it only gets louder it is the sound of an infant crying and it is coming from the inside of the cabin so that sounds pretty interesting so this one sounds more interesting than the other book so uh yeah it says and then there's little blurbs on the bottom it says deeply disturbing truly riveting and highly recommended Imagine Stephen King writing like Little House on the Prairie, I said that before, and you'll get the chilling, mind-bending auras of Amy, a uh, haunting, haunting and powerful debut novel. So this is her debut novel. Dark, dangerous, and creepily atmospheric, Daughters Unto Devils will haunt you long after you've read the last page. This is a classic horror at its best. 
Daughters onto Devils is basically Little House, Little Hell House on the Prairie. A great look at how tough our pioneer forefathers had it with all the car carnivorous ants, man-eating pigs, lonesome winters, and ancient forces of unthinkable evil that had to deal with. So yeah, seems very interesting and very spooky. So yeah, this one I might read. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that one. Okay, the next one, um, as far as I know, those two were YA. So as far as I know. Okay, the next book that I have here is a, an adult book and it is fiction. And it is called Shelter by Zhang Yun. And I really love the page the cover it's really really pretty look how pretty that is so i have no idea what this one's about so i'm gonna read a little bit at the back um okay here's my glasses okay shelter is poignant spellbinding and profound in her brilliant debut novel another debut uh yun skillfully entangles this snarled web of family lies tragedy tragedy identity and loss Redemption is hard earned and kindness comes in rare and unexpected places, but hope shimmers just beneath the surface. This is a book of heartbreaking genius. Um, Jung, Jung Young's Shelter is an urgent novel, a book on so alive, contemporary, and above all honest that it could only exist right now. Magnet, magnetic searing insightful shelter is a mic drop of a debut a story of post financial crisis america that establishes young as a necessary new voice in american fiction so i really don't know much about this and i'm going to read the inside okay the inside there is a synopsis and the synopsis says you can never know what goes on behind closed doors. Kung Young is a young father burdened by a house he can't afford. For years, he and his wife, Jillian, have lived beyond their means. Now their debts and bad decisions are catching up with them, and Young is anxious for his family's future. A few miles away, his parents, Jin and May, live in the town's most exclusive neighborhood, surrounded by a material comforts that Kung Jung uh, desires for his wife and son. As a child, he had every possible advantage, pri private tutors, expensive hobbies, uh, but his parents never showed him kindness. Young can hardly bear to see them now, much less ask for their help. Yet when an act of violence leaves Jin and Mary and May unable to live on their own, the dynamic suddenly changes and he's compelled to take them in. For the first time in years, the chaos find themselves living under the same roof. Tensions quietly or oh, quickly move mount as Young's prom proximity to his parents forces old feelings of guilt and anger to the surface along with the terrible and persistent question how can he ever be a good husband father and son when he never knew affection as a child so this sounds really interesting so uh yeah i might write this one this is an adult book and this sounds very interesting so um yeah so that's that one Okay, book number four is Ruined by Amy Tintera, and it looks like this. This is a YA book, um, and it says, Picked with, Packed with action, intrigue, and romance. I was holding on for dear life until the very last page, and that was quoted by Kara Cass, who wrote the selection series. So it says, Keep your enemies close. And on the back, it says, No one feared a million... Emiliana Flores, I hate when I can't pronounce the names, <laughs> the useless daughter of the most powerful queen Runa had ever known, but they would. So, 
The perfect blend of fantasy, adventure, and romance. I read it in one sitting, and that was quoted by Amy Kaufman. So, um, let's see what it says. Now, I'm going to struggle with all the names, because this... <laughs> I'm going to try to read the inside, and uh, any fantasy novel, I always struggle with the names, so let's be prepared, okay? So, let's see. Put my glasses on so I can see. Okay, a revenge that will consume her, a love that will ruin her. Emil Emilina Flores has nothing. Her home in Ruana has been ravaged by war. She lacks the powers of her fellow ruined. Worst of all, she witnessed her parents' brutal murders and watched helplessly as her sister Olivia was kidnapped. But because M has nothing, she has nothing to lose. Driven by a blind desire for revenge, M sets off on a dangerous journey, journey to the enemy kingdom of Lyra. Somewhere within Lyra's borders, M hopes to find Olivia, but in order to find her, M must infiltrate the royal family. In a brilliant, elaborate plan of deception and murder, M marries Prince Casimir, next in line to take Lyra's throne. If anyone in Lyra discovers M is not Casimir's true betrothed, M will be executed on the spot, but it's the only way to salvage M's kingdom and what is left of her family. M is determined to secede, but the closer she gets to the prince, the more she questions her mission. M's rage-filled heart begins to soften, but with her life and her family on the line, love could be M's deadliest mistake. So it sounds pretty interesting, except for the names. So, yeah. Uh, so there's this one. Okay, the fifth book that I picked up from the library is called The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. And I have no idea what this book is about, but it, it reminds me of a haunted house. So there you go there. I'm going to read a little bit of the inside uh, because the back didn't really give me any synopsis so the inside of the book it says the little stranger um, is takes place in Britain in the 1940s and brings us a sinister tale of a haunted house see I already guessed it uh, that brims with the rich atmosphere of psychological complexity that have become hallmarks of her work one dusty post-war summer in his home of rural Warwickshire, Dr. Faraday, the son of a maid who has built a life of quiet respectability as a country physician, is called to a patient at Lonely Hundreds Hall, uh, the residence of the heir's family for more than two centuries, the once impressive and handsome Georgian house is now in decline, its mace masonry crumbling its gardens choked with weeds the clock in its stable yard permanently fixed at 22 9 its owners mother son and daughter are struggling to keep pace with the changing society as well as with conflicts of their own but as the air is haunted by something more sinister than dying way of life little does Dr. Faraway know how closely and how terrifyingly their story is about to become intertwined with his? So it sounds pretty interesting. So we'll see if I like this one. It sounds like a historical fiction, but I don't know. So yeah, so those are the five books that I picked up from the library today. So hopefully I will read want three of these i'm hoping to read three of these so um i may read the first chapter of each one and pick out which one um i want to read so we'll see so anyway thank you for watching and i will see you in another video bye